Movement just in case there was wind or something. <laughs> Why did I say thick like that? <laughs> Double twist. What's up, y'all? It's Monica, and I'm back with another video. For today's video, I'm back with part three of the curly hair routine, this time with curly bangs. I know that when I was contemplating cutting my bangs, I was looking all over YouTube for someone to show me what theirs looked like, and there weren't many videos, so hopefully this video will help someone who has curly bangs, or if you just have curly hair in general and you're looking for a routine, or if you're just curious how I do my hair like this, this video is perfect for you. A lot of this video is gonna be a repeat from my last curly hair routine, but I did change some things up and added the bangs. I like making these specific videos because I like to see the progression from one, my hair, and two, my routine. Like last time I made this video, I had a side part, no bangs, and then the first time I made this video, let's just not talk about it because I think it's a little bit of a mess. Letting you know now, this does take a while. So have patience, let's do it. Okay, so this is my hair straight out of the shower. I didn't put anything in it yet, so we're just gonna get right into it. Pro tip, whenever I do my hair, number one, I always have a towel here to wipe my hands because a lot of products gets annoying. And then second tip, I never wear the shirt that I'm gonna be wearing out while I'm doing my hair because already it's soaked, it's gonna get products on it. So I wouldn't wanna go out with a wet shirt, that would just be miserable. And this isn't a tip, but just letting you know, I have this little mirror here so I can see what I'm doing since I'm not in my bathroom. Let's get to it. I'm gonna show you all the products that I use first and then I'll get into how I use them. Most important product, I think, conditioner. Makes my hair soft. Honestly, I've used so many different types of conditioners, but they've all worked the same. This one I just got because I found it at Target and it's super cheap and it's light, it's not too thick. Why did I say thick like that? It's not too thick. It's not too thick, so it doesn't make my hair like stringy and everything, so. I do like this one, it's by Josie Curls. It does say leave-in conditioner, but I've used regular conditioners in the past and just left them in my hair. If you leave it in your hair, it's a leave-in conditioner to me. Anyways, next product is this, which is gel, which is something that's new to my hair routine because I never used to use gel because I thought, oh, it's gonna make my hair crispy. But this one, I had my closet for so long and I never used it and I started using it this year and I ran through it so quick that I just had to get a new one the other day and I couldn't find it anywhere it wasn't in stock anywhere I went to like three targets a Walmart a CVS Walgreens nowhere and then I filmed this video without it and then the next day I went to Target and it was restocked I found it at Marshall's anyways this is Aunt Jackie's Curl Boss Gel. Boom. It's just clear gel. This is new because I just bought it. it. Smells like coconut. Yeah. And then last and final product is mousse. There's almost nothing in it. I go through these super quick too. This is the Shea Moisture Frizz Free Curl Mousse. It's like ripped up here, don't mind that. All right, let's get right into it. First things first, untangling. I just use any old detangling brush. Split in half. I think everyone knows how to untangle their hair. Start from the bottom so you don't rip your hair out. And boom. My hair's never been super hard to untangle. When I was little, it was hard to untangle, but recent. In recent years, it hasn't been hard. I don't put anything in it. All right, after I untangle, since it's like flat back like this, I like to brush it out a little bit just to loosen my hair up like that. Boom. Like that. And then next step, I don't know why I do this, but I honestly think it's a good step in my hair routine. I'm gonna go 
to the sink, put my hair upside down, and re-wet it a little bit because my hair will be like a little bit like stringy and the curls are all separated because I brush them. So I like to re-wet them just to like bring them all back together. I don't know, but I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put my head over in the sink and re-wet my hair. I think my hair is even more wet than we started. See, this is why you can't wear the same shirt because it's dripping right now. But first step is I'm gonna separate my bangs, which this is a little bit difficult, but I'm gonna get this mirror. Boom. I'm gonna use this pick just to part them. Okay, this is all my bangs. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this conditioner and just put it all in them because I'm gonna part them and put them to the side while I do the rest of my head. Okay, so I'm gonna take them Put them in this tiny little bun. And then I'm gonna use this little claw clip to clip my little bun down like that. Next, I'm just gonna split all my hair in half. So I'll have two sections like this. And then I'm gonna take first this one here and then use like this much conditioner. Put it all everywhere. Definitely didn't use enough. The inside of my hair is always drier than the outside, so I have to put some extra back there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. It's like three pumps of conditioner. Okay, now I'm gonna take this section and just tie it up back here. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Boom, okay. We're gonna leave that bun right there, and then I'm gonna start putting more products in this side. Next up is gel, so open this. I feel like this is what makes my hair not crispy, so I take some, like I'll show you. I take some, literally a tiny, kind of tiny bit, put it in my hand, and then, usually when I'm in the bathroom, I'll like turn my sink on a little bit and put some water in, but since I'm not in the bathroom right now, I'm just gonna take this spray bottle and spray some water. Because I feel like watering it down a little bit makes it thinner, and then it just is not like as crispy in your hair. And then I just go in and put it all over. Now I'm gonna take my Denman brush you can honestly use any kind of brush. Like I could have used, I could use this one to do my hair, but I like this one because it has this sleek handle with nothing here, like rather than this one that has this. But I like this because I like twist my hair around it and it goes really smooth. And there's different techniques that you can use with this. I found this at Amazon. I found this at Amazon as if I went to Amazon. I got this on Amazon. Now we start brushing. Split it up like this. And then I take this side and I put it over here just to get out of the way. And then I'm gonna show you the technique. So I take a piece, like this much hair, and then take my brush, put it like this. And first I brush it out. And then as I'm brushing, I'll twist it down like that. And then it curls back up like this. And then this is going a little bit extra. You don't really have to, but I think it helps it out a lot. I'll like split up the pieces and finger coil them. And then they're like little individual curls like this. Just like that. Boom. So I'll show you really quick again with another piece. I'll brush out and then come down and twist. See? and then I separate and finger coil. So I'm gonna go do that with this whole half of my head.
So now we can move on to this side. This does take a long time. I honestly usually set like an hour and a half solely for my hair routine, but just need patience and some shoulder strength. <laughs> for this one, we're gonna go in and put the gel in and do the same thing. I'm gonna take a little bit like that. And then my other hand sink. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on the other side, but I'm gonna show you how I brush this side because since it's a different angle, it's a little bit different. So with these ones, I'll take my brush, flip it like this, brush out, and then I take it like that and twist that way. Same thing, and then I'll split them up and twist. So it look like that. Twist. Boom. So I'm gonna do that with this whole side too. Whenever I'm brushing my hair out like this too, I always brush up and out so that it doesn't dry flat. Cause if you brush like this, then it's gonna dry flat on the top. So I brush up and out. All right, last piece. Squiggly. Double twist. It's all brushed out, and now we're gonna move on to the bangs. To the bangs. And you just leave it like this, and you're done. That is the end of the curly hair routine. Thanks for watching. Just kidding. Look at that, though. <laughs> it's one big fat curl. All right, so you're gonna take it. This is when I start using the mousse because I think the gel might be too much for my bangs. I'm just gonna take like one and a half, two and a half pumps and spread it all around like this. Just like that. And then I'll part it. The part that's closest to my forehead is what I'll make the thinnest. So it's like, just like that. And then I'll put this on the side. And I take my Denman brush, I brush up, and then I put my hand on like this. Boom. And then they all curl up. And then if any of them need a little extra help, like this one likes to be straight, I'll just twist and boom. And then I'll take my next part like this. There we go. So that's what my bangs look like all wet. Don't worry about this part because they'll eventually just go out like this when they dry. I think that how you dry your hair is honestly the most important part because when I would let my hair air dry, it would dry flat, it would dry frizzy, I would be touching it, it would get fuzzy. So when I started diffusing my hair, that's when I got it to really look the same every time. This is the diffuser that I use. I use honestly any blow dryer. I've put this diffuser on so many different blow dryers and it's worked the same every time. I've also tried a bunch of different diffusers and this one has been the best. It's by... Ion, and it has a bunch of little holes, it's really big. I've tried the Diva Curl one that looks like a hand that's like 50 bajillion dollars, and that one wasn't even as good as this one that I got at like a beauty supply store, and fits on any blow dryer. So, I'm gonna do this. This takes a long time. I just put my head down, and then just circulate. It takes like 30 minutes for my head to dry, but I just got my phone. Should I make a TikTok? 
I think I should make a TikTok. I've never made a TikTok, but I'm familiar with Instagram Reels. So maybe I'll make a reel, post it on TikTok. I need to find an audio. All right, if this TikTok comes out good, I'll put it in at the end of this video. Stay tuned, I need to find some, an audio to use. I'm gonna do wet hair to dry hair. Also, I use high heat and high power. I'm not doing the cold air, it takes 50 million hours and your hair is still wet. High heat, high power, 30 minutes, knock it out. Okay, so let me get this mirror. We're done drying, but do you think that that's the end of the hair routine? Buckle up. <laughs> because there's another tedious step coming up. Now, after we've dried, as you can see, it's still flat and a lot of the curls are clumped together because we brushed them. So I go through and I separate like all my curls. So let's just get to it. No complaining, split that in half. Split this in half. And put this to the side. And then just go through and curls that are all clumped together, you separate them like that. Separating so that they're individual ones. And the ones at the back, I really just rake them because they're in the back and the bottom and nobody sees them. You can already see, boom, the difference between this side and this side, and that's not even the last step. So let's get done with this side and get ready to wrap this routine up already. Okay, so now this is all separated and we're gonna separate my bangs. Do the same thing, take the pieces and just split them up. Just like that, okay? Bangs are all split up, just so it looks more full and not like stringy. So, last step, I promise we're gonna take a pick. I could leave it like this if I wanted to, but I don't like it just coming straight down. So I'll take my pick, lift up a section, and then just give it some more volume. Just lift up and do it inside so the top doesn't get frizzy. Okay, that is finally the end of the curly hair routine. I promise there's no more steps. Oh, I almost forgot. I made the TikTok and I think it came out pretty good. So let's insert it. I hope I don't get copyrighted. So if you hear some weird music in the background and not the actual sound, it's because I couldn't use the actual sound. I'll film a short version of a hair routine sometime once I figure out what that is exactly, but we're finally done. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, I'll show you like a 360. That's what it looks like. Some movement just in case there was wind or something. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments, concerns, compliments, questions leave them in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see y'all next time peace